You are here because the outside world rejects you. I'm the best there is at what I do. But what I do isn't very nice. Come on! Let's get nuts. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. Kawabunga. Kawabunga! I made a money. Come on, Peter Tingle. Here we go. What's up? What's up? What up? Oh, yeah. There, there's the music, too. Let's start. Let's do that. That's always fun, right, Cameo? <laughs> always, always. I was just jamming along like, wait, something sounds dry. Something sounds like something's missing here, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's the live show format. Cameo, good thing we wore the brown pants. Yes. Yes. Remy, what's was, up? Uh, Chris Dumb, what's up? Oh, uh, we're two of his favorite nerds. Thank you. Thank you. We better be. As much as we give to this nerd community. Right. Which is nothing. We give you every piece of sweat off of our back. (laughs) That is pretty (laughs) gross. Uh, Okay, Chris Stum has a theory about Falcon and Winter Soldier. We will get to that. Although I wasn't sure if we should. I wasn't sure. Chris, we'll talk about that in a second. Because I wasn't sure we should say the theory. Right. Or Mm -hmm. because like, what if that's a spoiler? What if he's right? Or if we should wait and see if it happens and then give Chris the, uh, you know, his due. Well, well, I think um, me and uh, Chris have the same uh, theory. Oh, okay. Well, then let's we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Unless unless he's talking about something different. But um, we we, kind of chatted about it, uh, I think, yesterday. I don't I can't remember the other day. Yeah. Hey, Cammy, you're sounding a little yeah. muddled, and I'm wondering if your mic is turned the wrong way. No, this is the right way, I think. D- is think the is. uh talking to it now? This, this, this. Okay, yeah, that's the right way. You're just coming that's in right. kind of uh low sounding. I'm not sure. Uh but yeah. Is, is this yeah. better? Is this better? Do I need to move closer? Uh it's just like you're like you're sounding like there's not a lot of high end on you. You know what I mean? Like your little bass. Well, I don't do that. I don't do that stuff anymore. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. We're going to, you know, we're also going to get one of these mics over to cameos setup yeah. over there. Cause we got them this set up. That's the mics we used to use. And mm-hmm. I have one that's just sitting here and I'm like, you should use it. Uh, because cameos trying to go big time. Like he, you got the green screen Yep. Yeah, and uh, maybe we're going to work on your lighting a little bit. Yeah. See, look, I think this looks better without the green screen. Oh, well. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, it's, it's all in the lighting. That's the thing. But, yeah, you know, and you got a webcam. Is that right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, you know. I'm out, on my end, it looks, uh, looks pretty crisp. Does but it? when I look at it. Oh, on Facebook, it doesn't look so crisp. Ah, well, it looks it looks okay. It, yeah, it's kind of going in and out, but you know, I guess yeah. we we won't worry so much about that as much as delivering some rocking content. That's right. And then I'm also still not sure what's going on with your mic, but we'll get through it. Oh, uh, sucks. <laughs> Maybe jiggle the cord a little or something. Uh, so, yeah. Chris Dumb, you are not the director of this show. I'm kidding. Brandon, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. We are going to talk about it. Re- uh, Chris says recommends using a blue spark. Is that a mic? Uh, Leah Yarbrough, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh, yeah. So, Cameo, you got the webcam. Yep, yep. You got the OnlyFans. Yeah. Is that your That's name right. on OnlyFans? Webcam? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's it. So follow Cam, webcam. Yep. At, at webcam.webcam.cam. OnlyFans. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Only <fans. laughs> and if you got money to spare for his OnlyFans, you might as well go over to patreon.com slash dope pods and uh, sign right. up. You get all the podcasts for a dollar a month, mm-hmm. unedited. Mm-hmm. Well, no, they're, they're pretty much edited, but uh, yeah. ad free, though. Ad free. There you go. So that's that's really cool. 
All right. Uh, I won't keep Chris uh, waiting too much longer. Ooh. Your whole screen dropped out, Cameo. I know. Uh, we'll go ahead and get to Falcon. And <laughs> there we go. I like it this way. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we'll get to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So if you're not caught up, uh, it is it is episode four that we're on, and we are giving spoilers, okay? Yes. So, no, you're funny. You're fine, Chris. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, uh, uh, Chris has a theory though. Okay. And we'll get, well, let's yeah. just start off with this theory because you know, there's all this stuff going around right now. We're, we're four episodes in, we've only got two left and they're saying a big Marvel character is going to show up in episode five. And you know, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, well we went through this vision. with Wanda. Watch is going to be vision. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be vision. It's going to be vision boner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> a big disappointment. So that's what it's going to be. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but Chris has a, a theory and it's the power broker. Okay. Uh, who the power broker is. They've mentioned the power broker several times throughout these episodes. Mm-hmm. And Chris's theory is that it's uh, Captain America's Shit. love interest slash niece, <laughs> Sharon Carter. Right. Um, I, when he told me this, I really like this theory because, you know, it's like, uh, I heard this thrown out the other day. It's like a lit, like a literary thing. Like you don't put like a hammer in chapter one, unless it's going to be used in chapter five or something like that, you know? Right. And, and so, you know, we've seen all these times where they'll throw it out there, like in front of us, like, you know, haha, it was there the whole time, you know? So right. Chris, with his Sherlock Holmesian, uh, you know, attention to detail. Cause I wasn't even thinking about who the power broker was. I was like, they'll, you know, they'll show us when it's time. Yeah. But I do. I want, when he told me that I was like, you, you nailed it, Chris, you nailed it. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking because, um, the way Sharon was acting, uh, in the, in that, not the last episode, but the episode before last, she seemed kind of, uh, kind of, kind of weary. Yeah. And then, and then so did uh, whenever she had her little part in, uh, I think it was in episode four. I can't remember, but, um, but yeah, I, I feel like she's up to something. And I think what had happened between um, Carly and her was that they were doing good during the, you know, the, the five-year blip and Carly took it upon herself to, you know, go, go about and doing things differently than Sharon actually wanted to do. Right. So I think Sharon is trying to type a loose in or so, you know, Carly's making it seem, um, but yeah, I, I think, I think Sharon is, uh, is very, very, uh, suspicious at the moment. Chris also says she's suspicious. I think he said, when he messaged me, she was sketch. And I yeah. said, not as sketch as her uncle, but that's a different conversation from a different yeah, I think show. We're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, another thing. So you got the picture of Bucky and is it a yo, a yo, a yo. Ayo? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she came from Wakanda, you know, to retrieve Zemo. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, I didn't see it, but apparently the they released the Zemo cut of the of his dance moves. Uh, oh, they did. Yeah, like a longer cut that uh, I didn't. Oh, get to nice. See it. Yeah, so you know, what do you call that move, Cameo? You're the dance expert. That's the uh, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh, okay. I thought that was no. <laughs> It, it, anyway, anyway, you shake it. It's like shake it, okay. shake it like the polar war picture. Yeah, ah, I got it. What's cool is be a nice <laughs> cold cameo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, people who are listening are like, "What are they doing?" I don't even know. Come to our Facebook yeah. page or our YouTube page. Which, by right. the way, side note for everybody who listens, uh, I'll, who's like, I'm gonna tune in now and then I'll catch the rest on the podcast. Last week, sick, so sick. And, uh, <laughs> I just yeah. didn't get around to editing. So I'm going to put the last episode and this one up 
on our podcasting and YouTube pages. So side note for that. Um, okay. Uh, Chris asks, this would be a question for cameo because I am not, I am not the uh, expert here is Carly in the comics that I do not know, but I'm going to say, I highly doubt it. Yeah. And then Chris mentions, so that was, uh, that was kind of what I was going to get to was the Wakandans also like we had the flashback where you see her setting him free from the uh, programming Mm -hmm. and, uh, he was crying and, you know, his emotional scene. I saw people on Twitter that were like, he needs to win an Emmy or whatever they do for TV shows. And I was like, uh, mm, I don't know about that. Just because you cry. I mean, I watch General Hospital with my wife every day. They're crying every day. You know what I mean? You're right. Like <laughs> trying to get that award. So uh, just begging. So I don't know about right. that, but it was a pretty cool scene later on. Uh, they show up and so this whole scene, I want to break down real quick. I don't want to, cause there was cool stuff. Like, so when new captain America comes in, right. And he's like trash, he is awful. <laughs> uh, he's egotistical. He, 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 you know, he doesn't have any experience. And so he's using like just his, he's just trying to rush in, you know, like instead of using any kind of pre-thought on like how these things could go. Cause Sam probably would have got through to Carly. Right. I mean, she ended up yeah. contacting him later. She, he he was. Yeah. No, but he wasn't. But I mean, the only reason why she attacked him was because of John Walker. Right. And then, so, but she contacted him later, you know? So yeah, mm-hmm. she definitely thought, okay, I could probably trust this guy. So, but there was the part where like right before the Wakandan show up uh, and what are they called? The force, the, Oh, oh, uh, AO's group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Dora Milaje. There you go. Uh, right before they show up, Captain America and Sam are about to square off. And I was like, yeah, let's see that. Right. Let's see Sam whip that butt. Because, right, <laughs> he had, uh, there was no serum involved yet at that point, right? Mm-hmm. No. Right. And so instead, they show up and, uh, Basically, they have a standoff because everybody wants to take uh, Baron Zemo, and then Baron mm-hmm. Zemo makes his little escape. Which, by the way, Baron Zemo, like, I like him, but I wonder if they were trying to make you not like him as much this episode. With does it seem kind of creepy that he's out there giving kids the candy and <laughs> right trying to get the oh, information? <laughs> that's spoiler. That's what's coming up later. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but he gets away. But when they face off, it was Ao and Bucky. She basically <laughs> had a trick up her sleeve from the uh, the arm that they gave him, and basically made it fall right off. <laughs> yeah. What was what was that move in uh, Kill Bill? The, the five finger. The five finger death punch. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool because I was like, man. She's the act. I didn't know it was going to fall off. I, I thought she was just making it to where he wasn't going to be able to use it. But I thought that was so hilarious. <laughs> Whenever it just dropped, he looked at it and looked back at her and he was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was great. That was great. That was really cool. Um, that was a good scene. <laughs> the, like, What's up, Michael Anthony? Thanks for joining. Chris says, do you guys hate U.S. agent? Who is U.S. agent? talking about uh captain america the new captain new one yeah yes yeah i hate him yes i hate him um because they're they're at the well let well we won't get to the end just yet uh there was a good conversation there though that i wanted to touch on right where Mm -hmm. uh zemo has the the thing uh like he's talking about how the serum corrupts people right yeah and you know pretty much everyone but captain america but even though Bucky, like, even though he was killing people and stuff, I don't know that it corrupted him in the way that he was just forced was to do those that things. Way. Yeah. Yeah. So it might not, because he's good now. So mm. it doesn't necessarily, but, you know, don't you think that Baron Zemo has, like, kind of a point with all that? Like, you know, and especially when he was saying, you know, isn't that a form of supremacy? Because you're basically saying, I'm right. And you're wrong, and I'm gonna beat it into you, basically, you know, or or whatever. But um, 
I thought that was kind of an interesting conversation, like an interesting touching on how how that kind of applies to a lot of different situations. You know, they've they've been highlighting social issues too, but mm-hmm. a lot of and then I have seen people on Twitter too saying, "Man, uh, it's too political." I don't understand why it's so political. It's like pfft, Marvel is political at times, you know. X-Men. Right. We've right. talked about that. I but, mean, it, have you not, you know, read their comics? Yeah, exactly. Especially like the, I mean, come on now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like the the U.S. agent, Captain America, uh, he, uh, like he, are they calling him, Cap- they are calling him Captain America, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so he's, he's a bad guy, right? You know, he's like basically... Mm-hmm the secondary villain. And the funny thing is, is like, he's in there saying, you know, this isn't your jurisdiction. And it's like, you're not even in your country, bro. So it's kind of like, kind of, I think that's kind of a metaphor or whatever to, to like, you know, how we might be stepping in on other people's. Right. Right. That's exactly how I took it. Stepping on other people's toes, you know? Right. Yeah. And I, I loved it when AO was like, whenever he, uh, Captain America was like, you have no jurisdiction here. And she was like, uh, wherever we go, we have jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, don't talk to me, white boy. <laughs> yeah. If, if I can kick your ass, I have jurisdiction everywhere. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. That was cool. Uh, let's see. Chris, uh, he says he loves Baron Zemo after this series. I, I do too. Other than that, yeah. it was just a little creepy. A little creepy there for a second. Uh, yeah. He says, I wonder also, why he hated Captain America because he was t- <laughs> coming in on his turf. With he the says, kids. Di- oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. He says Disney is political. Captain America yep. is the premises of pol- politics and comics. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. The, I mean, he, he was fighting Nazis. They yeah. didn't, you know, if they weren't going to be political, they would have just made up, you know, something else, but right. He right. fought Nazis and we're all, that's people we all can get behind. Let's fight all the Nazis. When I get mad, I just go look for Nazis to beat up. Nobody's ever getting mad at me about it. You know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> right. That's the only people. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that Nazi life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, Falcon and the winter soldier, what else did we uh, did we need to get on this episode? Because I mean, um, well, we, we we talked about how he. Well, we didn't really dive into him turning evil yet. Um, you want to go into that? You talking about the new cap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do because it basically that's the end of the show where he's fighting this guy, and this guy to that, that guy didn't have any super serum, right? He was battle star. The guy he was fighting. No, I think he did. Yeah. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. Well, but I, Ka- I think all of her like close knit people uh, have it. Okay. Um, so anybody that she's talking to, they they got it because remember, one that guy that um, I think it was him. He was uh, holding Bucky, Bucky back. So I and you know Bucky has the super soldier serum. Um, so. I oh, think, okay. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, re- I remember watching this video um, prior to this, to the show and you know how uh, abomination came about. He had, he already had this like evil streak in him. And you know, the, the thing is, is that I don't think John Walker is, um, was, was evil. I think it was, it was more of a, uh, uh oh what is it um a jealousy envy yeah. oh, type yeah. feeling well because so, he, he wants everybody to take him serious but nobody's going right. to because you can be you can put on the suit and you can have the shield but right captain america you know steve steve rogers right steve rogers mm-hmm. yeah uh, i always get him i always mix up his name and uh the dude from wonder woman uh <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah so steve rogers like you know, he was a special kind of guy. He wasn't just a guy who got thrust into this. He was a good guy. And that was special, yeah. you know, amongst all these other people who 
you know, or doing things for whatever reason. And so, uh, yeah, he's definitely wanting to be taken serious and nobody is because he's not an Avenger. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's just the guy that has a suit on and, and I think he is starting to realize that, um, yeah, you might have the title captain America, but you're not Captain America. Right. Nor will you ever be. Right. Exactly. Um, and so and, he proves and, it. He proves it to everyone. <laughs> I mean, he, he is America yeah. for sure. <laughs> so, so basically uh, he pushes this dude out the window and then attacks him with the shield and just like crushes him with it, you know, keeps beating him over and over. But it, and it's like in front of everyone, like they're filming it. And, you know, I, I had read somewhere, somebody had predicted that uh, this Captain America, uh, John Walker, was going to be kind of more like Homelander. And I was like, nailed that too. Whoever said that yeah. nailed it. Uh, because yeah. it ended with a scene. And like, okay, you never want to see this. Like, it's bad. But it was kind of a cool scene of him standing there with the shield, like kind of almost looking he super heroic. But then the shield's yeah. like got all that blood on it. And I was like, right, oh, right. man. Oh man. You can't see it, but if you could kind of see it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There you go. So it looks like he's about to hit you with it. He should, better not. He should. He should. I bust him in his head. <laughs> uh Chris also said uh has some theories. Okay, so this might be, I mean, I don't know. He thinks it'll happen in the finale if it happens, but it could be next week because they're saying there's a big appearance by a Marvel character. But he says, What if Steve Rogers comes back from time and saves the world again. That's the fa a finale. Imagine that. Um, I, I would feel that'd be kind of far fetched. Um, uh, as far fetched as I, going back in time and, you know, no, but I will, I will say that thing. that might happen just for the simple fact that, um, I kind of feel like he's going to come back and say something to, to, uh, Sam, what's his name? Sam. Yeah. And, I kind of feel that's going to happen, but I don't feel like he's going to come back and save anything though. Yeah. I I don't know. I wouldn't put my money on that one, but I like it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right. We got a question, uh, from Chris and, uh, I think that'll be the end of our Falcon and winter soldier talk, but, uh, yeah. cameo, which Avenger would you be and why? And uh, he asked me, and I'll just I'll go first if you want me to give you a little time yeah, go, to think yeah. about it. Uh, even though I don't have him up here, uh, I would be the Incredible Hulk uh, because just like Bruce Banner, I'm super smart and you know gentle and nice and and super smart. <laughs> but when I get mad, it's you know Brad Smash. <laughs> <laughs> get out. So. so <laughs> Uh, and you know, other times it's Brad smash too, but not, you know, um, <laughs> but yeah, the Hulk uh, also, I mean, you know, I don't feel like they gave the Hulk as much due as he should have got, you know, that's, that's why no, they, they were they having have. Bruce Banner basically go through his, uh, his impotent stage, you know, where he couldn't yeah. get the Hulk to come out. So, uh, because I, I just feel like the Hulk is too much like, you know, even, mm -hmm. and I loved him. Oh man, I love the Hulk in uh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, like I would good. love to be the Hulk in that, just chilling, getting all my food, getting you know, hanging out with that Valkyrie chick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cameo. What about you? Yes. So, I, I it had to be out of Black Panther just because the suit is awesome. Yeah, but. Spider-Man has always been my, my guy. I figured you would uh, say Spider-Man. Like, I don't know. I've from the very first moment that I, you know, saw Spider-Man and read his comic, I was like, this is who I want to be. Because you, you know, had that I, Peter honestly, Tingle. Right. <laughs> honestly, truthfully, because I feel I talk a lot of mess as it is. Yes. And I kind of I kind of uh uh I feel like I would be more of a of a Spider Man than a Black Panther, uh -huh. um, because yeah, I do like to trash talk a lot. So yeah, because like, uh, what, um, man, what was the scene where like was it Spider Man that's like, hi, I'm Spider Man. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, then there, uh, like he he 
Yeah, he definitely Black Panther's kind of more more of a serious guy. And right. Then, you know, speaking of Baron Zemo, when we were talking about Civil War, they had that great scene at the end where uh he's about to shoot himself and uh Black Panther's like, "Nope." Right. <laughs> that was pretty dope too. So, uh I think you would be a good Spider-Man because A, you like to wear your clothes extremely tight. B, yep. you do have that Peter tingle. And I then do. C, um you're kind of a dork, you know, just like Spider-Man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um the and the show's nerds to men, so I'm not shaming anybody who's a nerd, but Cameo's a dork. Um no, I kid. No. Yeah. No, but you you also have that like um very good guy, you know, vibe. And so does Spider Man, you know. So you you're yeah, you know. you're like the friendly neighborhood cameo. That that it, is true. I it's am. just unlike Spider Man, you have an OnlyFans. Exactly. <laughs> it says uh he's twelve ninety nine per hour. Which version of Spider Man though? <laughs> Which Spider Man? Um, I think it's well, the chubby one from the other world that yeah. wore yeah, I do that sweatpants. <laughs> that would be, um, you know, that would be the only Spider Man I could really uh, cosplay. That or uh, Noir Spider Man. Yeah, that would be dope. Um, I would have to say the original six one six Spider Man. Um, because I mean, obviously, that's just what I grew up on. Um, like about all this other new age Ultimate Spider Man. I mean, the Ultimate Spider Man was a good read, but I would I would say the six one six version. Right, right. The OG baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we do have like a little bit of a nerd update to talk about before we get into our pandemic picks, where we're going to talk about Invincible, but. Uh, Because we tried to do that last week, and your uh, internet just shat all over us. But it's 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 uh seems like we're holding up this week. (laughs) Yeah. So, uh, but uh, and and this was by request uh, by Chris. He wanted us to talk about like some of the some of the stuff going on with the the Flash, like the movie The Flash. So, uh, like. All I know about that is, like, they keep ta- saying it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. You know, Cyborg is out now. Although Ray said that he was getting along great with that director, so he wants to be back in it, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, then there was all the talk of Michael Keaton coming back as Batman, right? And now there's talk of Christian Bale. What? What? Yeah, he might be coming back as Batman for this. Ooh. I don't even know though. Like, so that's the yes. thing though. It's like, if they if they say Flash, multiverse, bringing back Michael Keaton, then yeah, I mean that just let's just go crazy. Let's go ham, you know. Let's bring back George uh-huh. Clooney and the Nips. <laughs> you know what I mean? I bring back uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mister Freeze. Let's yeah, do it. yeah. Jim Carrey as the Riddler. I would love that. I, I would mean, honestly love that. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, I like that movie. Okay, and I like Jim uh, Carrey as the Riddler, but I would like to see like him do something a little bit different with it. Not quite yeah. as uh, cartoony, but I still th- would like to see him do that. I mean, and we talked about this. Danny DeVito as the Penguin, bring him back. You know. Yeah, um, and supposedly Emma Stone's going to be in there as Batgirl. Is that is that is that for real? I that. That's what I that's what I read. I don't and it wasn't from uh we got this covered. So uh, <laughs> it was a different different site. Uh you but supposedly she's gonna beat it. You called her Gat Girl on accident yeah, on Facebook. By accident. But I yeah. was like, that's a cool name too. Like Gat Girl. Like, you know, she's got Gats. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> she kills, right? Like that's not that's right. That's not a hang up for her. That nope. that would remind me of maybe um what was the girl on kick ass? Ooh. I can't remember her. I can't remember. Something I can't girl. Remember now. But maybe she grows up to be Gat Girl, you know what I mean? Because she was yeah. pretty uh she was pretty deadly. Oh Chris Stump said uh Poison Ivy. He would be I Poison could, I, Ivy? Uh Emma Stone. Oh. I would like her as Poison Ivy. I'd like to see her in the Batgirl suit though. 
<laughs> uh, but, uh, that, that's Chris not did, because he did he did really mean uh, the TV flash though. Oh, the TV flash, the TV flash. Okay, well that's uh. Oh, and our internet is getting spotty. Oh yeah, I can see that now. Yep. Yeah, me too. Um. Okay. Well, the TV flash. You're gonna have to forgive me because I uh, am several seasons behind. Actually, I just started. <laughs> The season where his daughter shows up. You know what I'm uh, talking about? Uh, so yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You you way back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, he's teaching her, like, how to use her powers. And she, oh, and she tells him, you know, like, in the future. Yeah. Which you could kind of tell because she was kind of clinging to him. Like, like it was the first uh, time she's ever hugged him. Yeah. But. Yeah, we might on our our live feed we might be choppy, but we'll get the uh the other video up instead. Yeah. So, uh yeah, so I don't know. I don't know much about the TV show. Are you watching it currently? Yeah, yeah, I'm still watching it. Um I'm not a big fan of this season as of yet. Uh but I mean, we still got what 30 more episodes left. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> we still got a, a whole rest of the season left, so. Yeah. Well, what's going on? Okay, so uh, if you really want to get into it, Barry doesn't have the Speed Force anymore. Then they make an artificial Speed Force. Um, then the the embodiment of the Speed Force is now hurt, so he doesn't ha- technically have it. So now he's cryogenically frozen. So uh, yeah, it's it's uh it's crazy. It's going back and forth at the moment. Oh, okay, so. Uh, Chris says they brought in speed force, time force. Yeah. All the forces. May the force be with you. Star Wars. All <laughs> uh, right on. So, yeah, um, as soon as I can get caught up, I hopefully let's. I'll just try to get caught up by the end of the season and we'll wrap it up for you, Chris. Because, I mean, I'm sure it's yeah, getting, close, a lot. getting close to the end of the season, though, right? But that's, no. Yeah. I think it's like four or five episodes in. Oh, okay. You meant you meant like you like mid season? No, I figured it was getting close to summer, so it was probably close to being Dunsky. Oh no, because it just like started like a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Due All to right. the pandemic. Ah, there you go. Well, yeah, I'll get caught up. I'll get caught up. He says he switched computers and it's better. Well, I, I'm still getting like a little notice that it's kind of kind of bad, but not too bad. The drop frames are not as much as I would uh as I would like too scared though um he says come I, I on cameo it's the best season uh, yet i don't know i don't know maybe, re- maybe maybe i'll rewatch the first few episodes and you know maybe watch them again and see how i feel but you know just first watching them mm, i would say the best season right on right on all right cameo let's go ahead and move to pandemic picks your pandemic pick for right now uh, as you're sitting in your house, not going mm-hmm. out as much. Uh, so you're watching all the shows. Yep. And this one's on Amazon Prime. So as long as you got an Amazon Prime subscription, it's free. Yes. I guess not, though, if you pay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. So there's five episodes now because they come out mm-hmm. every Friday, right? Yes, every Friday. I'm on episode three. I, I just, uh, well, actually, I started episode four, and then I looked up and saw what time it was. And I was like, oh, well, there's no way I'm going to be able to watch episode four and five before the show. But, yeah, but man, uh, Invincible is so good. I, like, it starts off, and you're thinking, like, okay, this might be like a kind of like a wholesome kind of family uh, comic book television show. And by the first episode, you learn real quick that no, that is not the case. Yeah. Not yeah. the case. So <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. So um then uh because they, what did they release? The first two episodes right off the bat? No, the first three. The first three. Okay. So yeah. So there's only been two more since then, since they released mm-hmm. those. Okay. So yeah. Um there's a lot of stuff going on and yep. uh invincible he's the son of like this guy who's like superman you know like 
all the di- all the strongest characters that you could think of, he's got all those traits, right? Yeah, and like super popular. Well, so, well, well, kind of, kind of. There's there's uh, certain elements of of Superman's powers he does not have. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, not even like Superman, but like he's just kind of. Oh, okay. You know, a hodgepodge of all of it, right? Yeah, because like it, I feel like a lot of these characters, as you go, you'll see they're they're kind of based on other characters, like mm-hmm. and sometimes just names. Like, what was the what was the dark side guy that it was dark? It was like dark sidekick or something. I can't remember that guy's name. Oh, Darkwing. Darkwing? No. It was uh, like that's Darkwing remember. Duck. You're thinking of. No, Darkwing is like kind of like Batman. Yeah, but but I'm just yeah. saying like uh, they 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 like what is the last name Grayson? <laughs> oh oh oh, great! Yeah yeah, Mark Grayson. Yeah, but no no, like they they had a gu- another guy, and his name sounds like Darkseid enough that I was like, they did that on purpose. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> uh, uh-huh. they they I noticed like a lot of them were kind of parody. It's like a parody of other comic book characters in a way. Mm-hmm. And so I read that Robert Kirkman said that this show is, or like this comic, because you you've been reading the comic book. Yeah, I'm that, like on. Uh, oh, let's see, but you can go ahead and say what you're saying. Well, he was saying this is the most graphic stuff he's ever done, and I'm like, wow, you know, he did Walking Dead. So yeah, I don't know about that. I feel like, yeah, I'm on uh on issue. Can you see? Nope. Got a little shine. Got the shine. Got a little shine. Need a little shine on it. Oh yeah. On issue, issue ninety five. Oh, almost there. There you go. Ninety five. That's chapter yeah. ninety five, not issue. Yeah. Well, I mean, issue chapter, whatever, oh. same thing. <laughs> so they got ninety five comic books of them. Oh, they got way more. Really? How long has I, it been this, out? Uh, for a while. There's three compendiums out right now. I'm in the second one. I am on page. <laughs> Uh, 1,085 out of 1,129. Yeah. So that's in the second compendium. I've, yeah, man, it's, oh, it's awesome, dude. Like no, no joke. Like you need to, uh, sit back and read it. There's a lot of, you know, uh, backstory to some things that I kind of just, you know, breeze through, Right. but the actual storyline, dude, I love it. Yeah, it is really good. Uh, there's a, there's a lot going on too, mm-hmm. a lot. So you got to pay attention. Some of, some of those shows, like I can watch like while I'm looking at my phone or doing other stuff, yeah. but this is not one of them because there's a lot of story with this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I really love it. Uh, like Chris, now all we need is a, uh, a, a live action. <laughs> Chris, uh, invincible is dope. Great recommendation by cameo cam. Love the graphic aspect. Uh, he wants to know, so spoilers, this will be a spoiler. Do you think Invincible's dad is guilty of murder? I, yeah, I would, well, I don't know, because it looked like it, right? Yeah. But then. Well, I'm just, since I'm not going to say anything because I've been reading the book, I already know. Um, is it following the books pretty close? Pretty close. Uh, not Not verbatim, but yeah, pretty close. Hmm. So yeah, don't give it away then. If you don't give it away, give it away, give it away now, cameo. <laughs> I will not. Because uh, yeah. I, because yeah, if if you're not reading the book or if you don't know anything about this show and you're not reading the book, um, then I I don't want to I don't want to give too much away from from only five episodes because right now from what it's looking like following the book and and them taking some of the story from it. Yeah. Um, I, I will give this away. Um, there's, as, as far as I know, the the Titan dude, the the first guy that he ever stopped in his like homemade outfit. Right. The the rock guy. Well, he has a family in the comic book, and when he comes back in the uh, show, um, uh that's not that's not seen and again like i said i don't want to give too much away but yeah so some of the things are different um the the girl that mark grayson likes 
is a black girl on the show, but a white girl on uh, the comics. So they're, they're changing stuff here and there. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, they're, they're, they're sticking to it. And yeah, I love it. Yeah, I got to get I got to watch it. And so we'll we'll definitely kind of get to the end of the season and talk more about it for sure, because uh, it's worth watching. Everybody I know is like, so. everybody's watching that one because it's it's one of those messed up kind of <laughs> things we all like. Yeah. I like the adult stuff, you know? Right, right. The kids it's, got it's, all it's, kinds it's, of stuff. I would say that it is worse than the uh, R-rated um, uh, DC films. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're like, I don't know if I can get you know much much more than that, then yeah, don't watch it. Okay. Um, it, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it's as bad as like the boys, but it's pretty. No, no. I, I, I'm saying the animated DC movies, mm, yeah, like yeah. the rated R ones. It is comparable to the Harley Quinn animated yes, yes. show with that is as true. graphic as it was and with the language and stuff. Like, does this one have bad language? I can't even remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about the guy that <laughs> he, he keeps cloning himself and he, ca- he calls him brother? Oh, uh, the Mahler twins? Yeah. Like, he keeps yeah, cloning him, right? Yeah. It kills him, clones him. So that was his yeah. twin brother? He, no, or that was, was his, it his clone. clone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. But the, but the people, I don't know if people actually know that they're, that they're clones or, but whatever the case is, they, they're called the Mahler twins because there's only two of them at each time. Oh, like you don't, like the people like in that world, they don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Like, I'd love to have a clone of myself. I'd just be like, I wouldn't feel bad, like, making him do all the stuff I didn't want. or Because it's me, you know? Like, right. I can't be bad <laughs> to myself, right? You know? Right. I mean, I guess I could, but. Because uh, uh, I'd just be chilling watching Invincible. I'd be like, you go edit the show. And then, right. And then I'm going to kill you if you complain. Or oh. even just if you don't. Well, what if they kill you first? Well, then uh, that would be the end of that show. <laughs> uh cameo who does the fire guy that is the voice from big mouth remind you of fire guy, fire guy from big mouth oh um oh my goodness oh i can't think of it um i'm drawing a blank i'm sorry yeah that's all right that's all right I'm i don't know either who does it remind you of chris let us know uh, so yeah, I will I, say they got a, like a, a decent voiceover, uh, uh, cast on there. Oh my gosh. Um, so many people. They got Jillian Jacobs. Who's playing Adam Eve. Um, I can't remember his name, but the guy that plays Rex Flode, he's been in a lot of stuff. Uh, the, have you ever, have you ever watched the league? Yeah. Um, he was Rafi. Every, every time you mention the league, you ask. If I've ever oh, seen sorry. it <laughs> <laughs> on the phone, have you ever, have you ever watched the league? Like, no, but I know what you're about to say, <laughs> but you remember cousin Rafi? No, I never watched it, but I know like of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> but I, uh, yeah. cousin Rafi's in there, uh, voice acted in, you know, JK Simmons, uh, Steven young. Right. Yeah, on. I mean, they have, they have a top notch, uh, voiceover cast on there. Right on, right on. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, who is the dad? J J K Simmons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that guy gets to be in everything. I'm jealous. Dude, he has an awesome voice. Well, he does have an awesome voice. What was he in before? I, I, it seems like he was in like comedy TV shows or something. I can't remember. I yeah. Tell you. I don't remember either. Uh, so that's pretty much, that's it on the pandemic picks. I haven't really like, I watched stuff but i didn't like watch anything that i was like man everybody needs to watch this you know what i mean yeah so uh of course like i say invincible and falcon winter soldier man looking forward to loki though god i'm looking forward to that one i cannot wait yeah I loki's wait gonna be loki. real real good um oh cameo uh chris says that guy reminds him of lex luthor mm, okay I got you. Yeah. So, 
Uh, yeah. So cameo. Uh, you know what I did watch? Like it was ridiculous. So last weekend, as a wrestling fan, you'll remember WrestleMania. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So like last Monday they had Monday Night Raw, right? You know. Right. Then, because they have NXT. Have you ever watched NXT at all? It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It was good. I haven't watched it in a while. Um, <clears throat> but NXT was on Wednesday nights, but they had like a two-night WrestleMania because they always have their little, you know, uh, it's called TakeOver, but it's their pay-per-view usually oh, okay. at the same time when they have their big pay-per-views on WWE. But they didn't do that this because of this. I'll, uh, you'll know why in just a second. So that's Wednesday, Thursday was two nights of NXT. Friday night was Friday night SmackDown, but it was the WrestleMania edition. Saturday night was night one of WrestleMania with a full slate of matches. And Sunday Uh night was night two of WrestleMania with a full slate of matches. And then tonight is Raw again. So that's like, if you're a wrestling fan, like you're either like, Oh, that's so much wrestling. I love it. Uh, he says the guy to your left, by the way, is. Yeah, that's storm. that's Rex Splode. Rex Splode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so much wrestling cameo. So much wrestling. Too much. Did you did you love it? I mean, I watched it. <laughs> 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 I don't know about loving it. Like, I don't look, honestly like I only watch wrestling now is like if it's just like. I just need something dumb to watch that I don't really have to pay attention to. You know, I'm just yeah. chilling, just chilling, smoking, like a villain. smoking. <laughs> That's just like, you know, one of those kind of things. So, but yeah, so much, yeah. so much wrestling. <laughs> and then I played with nephews a lot and got, you know, recovered because I had my vaccine. I had vaccine oh, yeah. too. It was horrible. Like, I don't, I'm not saying that for people to like not go get it. And it wasn't horrible, horrible, but it was like, it knocked me on my booty. Plus not only that, I'm having like another issue with some of the medicines that they were having me on. And like, it was, Uh, I was having that. And so like combined into a, uh, you know, an explosion of things coming out of me. Whoa. (laughs) So, Yeah. So like last week I was like, I'm going to edit my show tonight. And then I was like, no, <laughs> no I'm just going to not, I'm not doing not do it. Yeah. So I apologize. You just, to everyone. You just, could, you just could do it on the toilet. I mean, <laughs> uh, that wouldn't be the most ideal now. Yeah. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> so yeah, everybody can look for all the videos and uh, catch up shows tomorrow. And then if they were watching it on Facebook, then they've already seen it. So, right. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Uh, cameo, did you notice my sweet hat? Dude, I am so jealous. You don't have to be. Why? Because I got you one. Oh, Brad. Yeah. You the best. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, we got ripped off. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. By one store. So I was like, you know, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my own. And so I did. And now we're going to start selling them, Cameo. Let's do it. Yeah. So message me if you want one. I'll I'll give you a price and stuff. Message us on the nerds to men. One million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The foot the foot soldiers. I think would you like if you had the choice, would you be a ninja turtle or the foot soldier? Ninja turtle? They were cooler. You know, usually I'm for the villains, but like if you're a foot soldier, you're just one of however many. Right. So yeah. I'd rather be one of four than one of many. Yeah, the yeah, I, I would definitely like they were the only good guys that I kind of wanted to be like, you know, like I like Batman. I'd like to be, you know, I'd like to be Batman for a night, drive around in his little Batmobile, but uh, I'd like to be Joker for the arms. rest of my life. Yeah, <laughs> slamming people's faces in warehouses and stuff. Well, I do that as the uh, Hulk anyway, <laughs> but only to Nazis. Um <laughs> Chris says he's ready for another season of the boys. Me too. He read something yeah. about blue beetle being developed. He's stoked. Yeah. I don't blue know. It was like, pretty nice. Yeah. I, they, they keep talking about all this stuff, you know, the bat fleck movie, they wanted to get it going again and bring it to HBO max. And I'm just, 
I don't know. I don't know if any of that's going to happen or if they're just going to move forward from here on out. I did see yeah. that James Wan or no, Zack Snyder uh, told them because you'll you'll be interested to hear this cameo. He told them to keep Amber Heard in the Aquaman movies and stuff. So what do you think about that? Because you're kind of you want to cancel her. Yeah, I just want her done. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if I can get that invested, you know? Uh, kill her off. I don't care. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I don't know if I, I've said this before, but I don't know if I like hate her or think that there's, who knows what it's, really happened, you know? It's not that I hate her. <clears throat> it's just that. You hate women. She's a, oh. No, she's just a dime all a dozen. Women. Oh, uh, women <laughs> or a dime a dozen is what you're saying. <laughs> Oh, I hate you so much, brother. <laughs> no, you hate women. I'm a man. There's see. <laughs> uh, you know what that music means. Yep. It's time it's, to go. It's time to get on out of here, Cameo. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a good week, Cameo. And uh hey, you too, bro. Hold on. Does and always. You... Oh, wait, wait. You want to Oh, uh does multiply remind you of Ben 10 character? Uh, you talking about duplicate? Yeah, she kind of does. Yeah. I didn't watch Ben But anyways, 10. you should. Keep it nerdy, baby. You are here. Smile and put on a happy face. Wakanda forever! This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> that was awesome! Freeze all motor functions.